Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. Welcome to my channel. Uh, today's practice is about neck and shoulder tension and how we can release it with strength and with strengthening and stretching of those areas while on the chair. You'll notice today that I have soup cans in my hands. I'm using these as an alternative to small weights. If you want to use larger weights or no weights at all, please do what's best for you. We always want to remember that we are practicing ahimsa, which is the Sanskrit word for nonviolence to you. Reminding yourself that at any given point or any day, if you are feeling wacky, uncomfortable, or anything that's not right for you, you will stop or you'll slow down and do what's best for your practice. I'm going to put these down and we're, I'm just going to situate myself so that I have them close by, reminding yourself that you don't have to do weights, but um, you can as an alternative. You have to decide what's best for you and you may want to speak to your physician or your therapist. Okay, I'm going to put these down. I'd like you to start with your feet planted hip width distance apart on the, the floor. Knees are always going to be right on top of the ankles, shoulders on top of the waist. My belly's drawn in, okay, and I'm going to open up my chest feeling nice and lifted, beaming my heart up to the sky. My chin's gently tucked in, and the crown of my head is lifted up to the sky. We're going to take our arms all the way up, breathe in, hands thrust together, breathe out, hands to the heart. Good. Breathing in. Hands pressed to the heart, breathing out. Again, breathing in, setting our intention for a practice for our neck and our shoulders. Perfect. We're gonna take our hands down onto the thighs. Let's go ahead and open up for seated cow pose. We're lifting our heart up to the sky, chin up to the sky, roll the shoulders back and down, and then rounding the back, cat pose. Fingertips are reaching to the front. We're gonna draw the belly into the back. Chin's coming into the chest. Great. Two more of those. Breathing in. Exhale, breathing out. So we're just articulating the spine, finding mobility, little movement, inhaling and exhaling. Connecting breath with movement. Perfect. Come back to center. Let's take our arms down to the sides. Take the left arm all the way up, relax the top shoulder, and sway to the side. You got it. Come on back up and breathe out. So whenever we start our practice, we're always finding breath with movement and kind of easing into it. Finding that motion is lotion. Good. Come on back up and release. So what we're doing now is just starting to warm up the body before we put in our strengthening portion. Breathing in and out. Relax both shoulders. Inhaling, exhaling. Good. In, let's do one more on the side. And exhale. Awesome. Come on back up and release. Go ahead and roll the shoulders out for three, two, one. Take your hands right in front of you on top of the thighs, opening up for a nice brush stroke, high tent to the heavens, and then exhale, take your hands down. Ooh, look, the sun has come out for me. Breathing in. Ooh, nice sunshine. Hello, sunshine. And then breathing out. Maybe if you don't have sunshine where you're doing this right now, you're just going to be hello, hello to the sky, hello to the um, heavens. Breathe out. Do that one more time. Breathing in, big smiles, and breathing out. Okay, we're going to do that to the side. Inhaling, touch the backs of your hands, and breathe out. Okay, breathing in. Try to relax the shoulders as you do this. Breathing out. Drawing the belly in, lengthening the spine as you do this. Breathe out. Go ahead and look up as you do this too now. Breathing in, touch. Breathing out, come head back to neutral, looking at me, breathing in, looking up, head looked, hand looking at me, and then one more time. Breathing in, look up, and breathing out. Whew. Okay, let's roll the shoulders out for three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna take the arm 
arms back out again and we're going to do some gentle circles. Now I'm doing outward circles here. Imagine your middle fingers have paint on them, an unlimited amount of paint, and then you're making circles on these canvases that are beside you on both sides. Okay, so let's start to make these circles and draw bigger ones, bigger ones, bigger ones, until you have really big ones, big, big, super big circles, big canvas to the sides. Good, don't forget to breathe, drawing the belly in and keeping the chest up and open. Good, and now release. Take the shoulders up, breathe in and release. Do that again, breathing in and out, release, breathing in and release. Okay. Now, it's only fair that if you circle those outward circles, we have to do inward. So take the arms back up, relax the shoulders. If you need to bend the elbows, do that, okay? So do what's best for you. We're starting to do these exercises where we're strengthening the shoulders, okay? So little circles to start, that unlimited paint on those middle fingers, and start to draw circles on those canvases, maybe visualize a different color. I'm going with Originally I did blue, now I'm doing purple, and then I'm doing bigger ones, bigger ones, bigger ones, and now I'm doing big, big, big circles. Okay, big arms. So I went from small to little, and you don't need to go as fast as I'm going. Again, it's your practice, your yoga, so you need to do what's best for you. Don't forget to breathe. Okay and release. Perfect. We're going to raise the shoulders up, breathe in, and breathe out. Breathe in, and release. One more time, in, chest up, back straight, and release. Okay, in this part of the portion of the practice, I'm going to be strengthening a little bit more, strengthening and stretching, and I'm going to grab onto my cans of soup. Okay, so maybe you don't have cans of soup. Maybe you actually have um, weights, or maybe you don't want to use them at all, and you're just going to have your hands as in, in kind of like a gentle fist, okay? Nothing too intense. Making sure the feet are still planted into the ground. We're going to take our elbows into the body, okay? And then pull those cans away from you. You got it. Okay, so chest up, back straight. Nice big smile. Breathe in. Draw the belly in. Breathe out. Okay, good. Breathing in and out. I love that I'm doing this with you because, and I'm sharing this practice with you, because I've suffered from shoulder injuries for quite a few years, both of them. It's all from 20 years ago when I used to be a dragon boat paddler. And you know, it comes back to you in your tw in, uh, 20 years later in your 40s. So I just want to make sure that I'm strengthening my body, putting mobility into it. Now I often do a little chit chat so then you get distracted of how many reps I've done, how many reps you've done. So hopefully you've continued with me. Keep on breathing, keep that belly nice and tight. Okay, and of course you're always going to practice ahimsa. If it's too much, you're gonna stop. And don't forget to breathe, you're using your breath to help you. Okay, last one and release. Whew. Take a breath, breathe in and out. Okay, from here, I want you to lower the hands down to the sides. We're gonna take one hand down, so the right hand's gonna come down to the side here, and the other hand's gonna go all the way up. Okay, so as you do this, you're strengthening the arm up to the sky, and this hand is just anchoring below. Keep that arm in the body. So see how this is overextended? Nope, that's not good. We're gonna relax the shoulder, keep that arm in the body. Breathe in and then switch. Come down and let's do the other side. Kind of like a little um, tick-tock clock here, um, opening up. Breathing in and out, release. In and out. Are you keeping your belly nice and tight, supporting your spine? Relaxing the shoulder, keep that arm in the body. Breathe in and out. 
You're doing great. In and out. You're doing awesome. In and out. Now see if you can breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Keeping that nice nurturing breath in the body. Inhaling, exhaling. Now I'm going to do four more. So two more on each side. If you feel like it's too much for you, you will stop now. Just breathe, sit nice and tall. Okay? Otherwise, if you're continuing with me, continue with me. But never push yourself too hard, too far. We're always honoring the body. Good. Release. Okay, take your hands in front. Let's breathe. Notice how you're feeling in and out. Well done. So at this point, you may be like, mm, I'm going to get rid of my weights. I'm not liking this. Or you're going to go to a lower weight, or you're going to get rid of those cans and you're just going to do whatever you need to do. Or you're staying with it. Okay, at this part of the practice, we're going to have our hands in front now. Okay, so I want you to have your hands in front with or without weights and we're going to come up. Breathe in and out. Tall spine, draw the belly in, chest up. Inhale. Now breathe in, switching your breath, breathe out. Inhaling, exhale. You got it, breathe in, belly tight, back straight, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling. We're gonna try to do 10 of these. In, out, stretching into the chest. But guess what we're doing? We're strengthening our deltoids here. Good, keep it going. Inhale, exhaling. Reminding yourself you can stop at any time. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhaling, exhaling. I lost my count. We're gonna do two more. Breathe in, breathe out. You've done so good. You're doing great. Breathe in. Breathe out. Well done. Okay, take a breath. Close your eyes. How do you feel? Where are you feeling it? What are you feeling? Breathe in and out. Okay, from here, we're going to just use one can at this point. Oh, yes, one can. So put one of the cans down. Okay, and I want you to take your left hand down to the side with your chest up belly tight and back straight. Let's go ahead and take this can, tap it gently to, or your can or your weight, tap it gently, or no can, or no weight, to the, or take your hand to the left hip. And then expand out, open up for a nice, wide, expansive opening, okay? Inhaling, exhale. You got it, breathe in. Out, inhaling, exhaling, breathing in. We're going for five. This is four and five. You got it. Now we're lower the hand down and then switch hands. Perfect. So release this arm, release this hand, give it a little shake taking the hand down to the side, little, little touch and expand, okay? You'll notice that my belly's still nice and tight, my back is straight and I'm beaming my chest up. You got it, keep it going, breathe in and out. Awesome, in, out, you got it, breathe in. Breathe out, let's do one more. Inhale, big smile, you got it, five. Breathe out and release down. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the other can now. And from here, let's go ahead and take our hands to the sides. Okay, so it's not how high you lift it, but if you do lift it high, try not to uh, lift up 
over your shoulder. So we're gonna take the arms to the sides and I don't want you to come up. I just want you to be parallel to the floor, okay? So back straight, belly nice and tight, draw the chin in, crown of the head lifted, beaming your heart to the sky. Breathe in, breathe out. In and out. You're doing so good. Breathing in, breathing out, inhaling, exhale, breathing in, breathing out, in, out, in, out, three more, in and out, breathing in, breathing out, last one, inhaling, exhale, perfect, okay, now we can get rid of our weights completely for the rest of the practice, so go ahead, place them down, okay, if you never had any weights, that's fine too. We're going to shake it out. So I want you to give yourself a nice little shake. And of course, we're going to go ahead and tap. So I want you to tap at the top of the shoulder. So it's kind of like, yeah, good job. Good job. I did so good today. Okay. And I did so great. And then I want you to go ahead and rub and send love to those shoulders. Love you. Love you, shoulder. So you'll notice when you send love, it's warming it up. Okay, good. And then I want you to press down, warm and press, warm, press, warm, press. Okay, let's do the other side. Give a little tap, nice job to this shoulder, nice job, tap, 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 tap. And then rub, send me love, love you shoulder. Don't get jealous of the other one because I said I loved you to the other one. We're gonna just say love you and then gently press out, rub and press down, rub and press. Okay, now we're gonna press on the yang channel on the out, come up on the inside, come across, down on the out, in on the inside, up and across. Nice, gentle pressure. Or maybe a little more firmly, maybe it'll feel better. What is it, what is it for you? Okay, one more, down and out. So we're just kind of warming up and kind of soothing and nurturing all those meridians that we worked on just by doing those weights. Well done. Notice how you feel. Breathe in. <sighs> Breathe out. Now for our neck. Let's go ahead and take our left ear to our left shoulder. As we do this, sit nice and tall still. We never want to be slouchy. Okay? Left ear to left shoulder now. We're going to send energy through those right fingertips. So imagine zing. Fingertips reaching down and extending out, expanding and kind of getting a little oomph into that neck and shoulder space here. Breathe in and out. One more breath in and release. Breathe out. Now go ahead and take your hand, your left hand on top of your head. We're not cranking it, we're just placing it on the head, please. Good. Now go ahead and take a look down to your hip and take the hand to the back of the head. Again, we're not cranking into the neck or the head. We're just placing the hand there. And I want you to still sit nice and tall and just notice this gentle stretch here. Don't forget to breathe. You may close your eyes. Sometimes it deepens the stretch. In and out. One more breath. In. Okay, we're going to release the hand down. I want you to rotate and look towards the center. Look to your navel and then gently look up back at me. Well done. Let's do the other ear. So one side is going to be grumpier than the other. We're doing right ear to right shoulder. Okay. Honestly, this is such a good practice for you to do every day when you wake up and before you go back um, to sleep at night. We don't give our necks um, enough stretching, enough attention, and they do quite a bit of work when we're on our devices all day. Okay, so maybe you're not on your device, but for most people, they're on their smartphones. Go ahead and send energy out through those fingertips. Notice how this side feels versus the other. Notice if it feels different if you wiggle it forward or wiggle it further back. 
you know, play with it. See how it feels. Don't forget to breathe in and out. Inhaling, exhaling, releasing the hand. Let's go ahead and take our hand on top of the head. Again, no cranking of the head. We're just placing the hand on top. Good. How does that feel? Breathe. Great. Release the hand from the head. Turn your head so that you're looking down at your right hip. And go ahead and take your hand to the back of the head. Place it on the head gently. And just notice the stretch here. Breathing. And keep on sitting nice and tall. No slouchy backs, please. Breathe in. And out. In. And releasing the hand, we're going to rotate the head inward to the center, looking at your navel. And inhale, looking up. Well done. Let's go ahead and look up to the sky or up to your ceiling, breathing in and then come back to neutral. We're going to draw the chin in more significantly to lengthen the back of our neck and then look, tuck it in a little. So just kind of tuck it in and then look down and then come on back to center. We're going to gently now rotate the head in gentle circles. I'm only going to do three each way. Don't forget to breathe. I don't think we give enough love to these necks. Okay, go ahead and do the other way. Ooh, this way is a little cranky and grumpy. I don't know if you can hear this with my microphone, but yikes, it's like crickety crackety here going on. Okay, good. Come on back to center. Breathe in and out. Well done, everyone. Let's take our hands together to close our practice. Thank you for sharing with me with this neck and shoulder practice today. If you like my channel, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe and follow along. Hit that notification bell and send me a comment. Love to hear from you. Namaste.